Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. When shuffling the deck, we did have two cards that flew out and I felt a very strong pull towards them. I feel that spirit is definitely wanting to communicate with these cards. So we're going to stay with them and I'm going to be pulling out the rest. So we're going to get into your reading, Scorpio. First and foremost, how are you doing, Scorpio? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope that this full moon um, brought to you guys the closures that you were looking for or needed, as well as uh, bringing to you new beginnings. Um, I know that Scorpios were definitely feeling it on a very emotional level. Um, now, we with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups usually indicates to me um, contentment, emotional fulfillment. But I felt very strongly like there is almost like a wanting to start off and then there is a retraction. So for some of you guys, if you're starting like or trying to start some new endeavor, a new business, a new career move or something like that, I would wait uh, probably to the second week of, uh, sorry, of uh, the second week of May, only because I feel like you guys are still going to be very strongly, heavily influenced um, by the full moon's energy. And remember, it was in your sign, so that represents a lot of endings, a lot of ending cycles. This is the death of the old you and the rebirth of a new beginning, a new way of thinking, a new way of living. For some of you guys, the Ten of Cups could represent um, not only really analyzing or internalizing what it is that, what your contentment is or what it is that you're wanting to manifest what what does happiness mean to you Scorpio uh, and I feel that you guys are really like like I said internalizing because we do have here the hermit so the hermit is about internalizing going within um, right next to the ten of cups I feel that you guys are either restructuring your home restructuring uh, your way of living this could be like moving things around this could be switching furniture around in your home for others of you, it could literally represent building a wall in your home. So it could be like a physical, like building a wall. It could be like a reconstruction or revamping. But it can also represent like really putting energy and effort towards protecting your home. So whether it be through herbs, whether it be through, um, I don't know, spell work, whether it be... Uh, just, you know, saging, cleansing your space. I see you guys really trying the best to be able to embrace uh, positive energy. And again, with the Hermit card, I see you guys being spiritually guided uh, towards a more meaningful or a more deeper understanding of what it is that you want moving forward. So again, I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could represent, uh, as an example, if you've been in long-term committed relationships where uh, <clears throat> you've been dating someone for quite a while and you don't see it progressing or you don't see it moving forward uh, as quickly as you would want. For some of you guys, it's internalizing. Do I really want to continue pursuing this? Is it worth pursuing? So it, it's about asking the the unwanted questions the questions that make us uncomfortable but the reason for it is remember uh the full moon in scorpio represents that of the underworld you know the death uh the transmutation the transformation so it's about those things we've been trying to sweep under the rug or we've been trying to ignore or we've been trying to suppress it's coming up to the surface to the surface in order for you guys to deal with it in order for you guys to analyze is this where i find my peace my sanity my happiness and for a lot of you guys your home is very important it is your sanctuary it is where you not only you know lay your head um, at night to rest but harmony is very important as well so again Ten of Cups with the Hermit, I feel that you guys are spiritually very inclined to push out the old. And when I say push out, I am literally seeing you guys like pushing furniture, moving, switching things around. And you may just wake up one day, that's if you haven't already, Scorpio, wake up one day and just feel like you want to, you know, remodel or move around your room, your bed things like of this nature and it, it's you feel that it's spontaneous but on a self-conscious level 
you're being guided. They're telling you if there's been stagnation in your home, in, in your room where you sleep, uh, any type of stagnant energy, you're being pulled towards moving it to get traction, to get movement, uh, to declutter. So again, uh, a lot of changes that are coming for some of you guys, it's even trying to figure out um, if you're willing or wanting to move, if you've outgrown your home for others of you, uh, it could just represent, like I said, uh, the revamping or remodeling or moving things around in the home. Um, and, and again, like I said, all of this is not coincidental. It has a lot to do with the fact that there, the old you, the old Scorpio, the old belief system, the, the old way of seeing life or viewing life has died and it's remained in the underworld. So you're going into this rebirth, this new beginning, this transformation. Uh, so for a lot of you guys, it's really what they're saying here is for the majority of you, you're going to be experiencing this in very different aspects for a lot of you guys, of course, depending on your birth chart, you're going to be affected very differently. But what they're saying here is that um, for the majority of you, there is almost the desire or the want or the acknowledgement of seeking fulfillment or walking towards your happiness and really taking those steps to move towards that direction, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Your next card here is the Knight of Cups. So again, we're talking about overly emotional. We're talking about it's like your emotions and your intuition coming together. Um, it is about acting or taking movement or making action on a subconscious level. You may feel like you're being spontaneous. Don't give um, don't give yourself that much credit, Scorpio. It's not so much about spontaneity as it is that you are uh, downloading. You're receiving a lot of downloads, spiritual downloads. Uh, your ancestors connecting. You may be very uh, experiencing heavily uh, dreams, very lucid dreams. Uh, Knight of Cups can also represent messages, messages that are coming through th in our spirit or through our spirit realm. Um, this could be dreaming about past loved ones or people that have passed on that are in the astral realm that are trying to communicate with you. So again, I feel that for the month of May, what they're telling you, Scorpio, make it a priority to listen to your intuition. Okay, that's going to be the key for you to really experience the full potential that may has for you. Now, your next card here is the Page of Cups. <clears throat> A lot of emotional messages, communication. Uh, this could be communicating with family, loved ones. Very, um, someone may be needing emotional support or some type of emotional guidance. That's if you're not the one that's seeking this guidance, Scorpio. Uh, but I definitely see you like being the advisor for the month of May. I feel that people are coming towards you to get your opinion or to get some type of advice, some type of emotional advice. Um, for others of you, you may be experiencing like a very strong uh, connection with your partner. For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, sorry if you guys see the gloss in. Let me pull them a little bit more down so that I just noticed that. Um and, and again, I feel that there is like this bringing or coming together with your partner where you guys are emotionally on the same page. You guys are supporting each other. You guys have the same vision is what I'm being shown. I have the hermit here and it is carrying a lantern. Uh, the knight of cups is also carrying obviously the cup, right? The chalice and we have the page. So it's like you guys are both attaining or walking towards the same destination or the same goal, the same desire. So again, I feel that there is a lot of emotional support in the month of May for you Scorpios. Now your next card here is the Two of Swords. We also have the Four of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Three of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful, transformative energy, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. I feel that May is probably going to be one of your best months um, for the year of 2021. Now, uh, like I said, I feel that we're starting off the month um, really trying to move things around, trying to, uh, you know, internalize what it is that I want as a Scorpio moving forward. What are the steps that I'm going to take that are going to assure me the success in whatever endeavor I choose. 
The two of swords can indicate a little bit of resistance or a little bit of stubbornness. Again, like I said, the message that is coming through very strongly for you Scorpios is if you want to experience success in the month of May, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to it. Do not resist it. Okay, surrender to this process. The two of swords indicates a bit of indecisionness or not being able to make a decision. Um, and I feel that this has more to do with the fact that you guys are experiencing like feeling or being a little bit overly emotional. Um, it could be that, uh, you know, your friend or your relative or someone around you, you're having a conversation and they may, you know, express themselves a certain way that out of the blue, out of nowhere, it just triggers you. It makes you get overly emotional. And I see them like you know, waving by and once they remove their energy, it's like you're left to deal with some type of lingering emotion, um, overly emotional. So it could be something very simplistic that creates some type of tension within you that you end up crying. Um, and what they're saying here is, again, surrender to this process. If there's a purging of having the need to release pent up emotion, cry as long as you need to cry, Scorpio, okay? This is all um, and you may be experiencing a lot of karmic um, <clears throat> energies around you. So that could be the reason why there is a feeling a bit of resistance uh, towards this new beginning. But I feel that, again, if you surrender to this process, like I said, if you feel like crying, cry. If you feel like laughing, laugh. Uh, this is going to help you. This is going to help you release that pent up tension or pent up emotions or suppressed emotions. Um, right at the center, we have the four of wands. So again, a lot of stability is coming through for you guys in the month of May. I see you guys attaining homes. I see you guys getting grants. Uh, I also see, like I said, moving or changing residency because you feel like you've outgrown the situation. You have the finances. If you're trying to get some type of loan, uh, try to you know get a, a mortgage or something like that, it's definitely going to be happening for you in the month of May and June. Very strongly, it's almost like clockwork, it's going to be happening for you guys. So again, um, very, very bountiful energy of blessings coming your way. Nine of Pentacles also indicating to me with the Sun card, blessings in regards to your career and your finances. A lot of financial stability and abundance moving forward. I see you guys, if you felt like in the past couple of months, um, you were feeling a bit restless or feeling like, you know, work wasn't as exciting anymore. There's definitely going to be some motivation that is very connected to finances. It could be an increase. It could be um, making more money, getting a higher position uh, where you kind of get re-inspired or it realigns your energy and you feel very excited about a new beginning, about a new start, about making more money. So again, I see you guys very highly motivated in the middle to the end of the month of May. Um, a lot of beautiful energy around you. And again, like I said, I cannot stress this enough. If you guys have experienced situations with family member, friends, um, anything in the past couple of months where there was like a bit of almost the feeling of one thing after the other, that's going to be dissipating very quickly and you're going to start to experience harmony within the family dynamic around your family members or around your parents or around your family, meaning your immediate family, like your kids, your husband, if you're married, your wife, uh, that type of energy. It's like very harmonious energy. And again, it has a lot to do with uh, the rebirth, the new beginning that's coming for you. Right at the center, again, I feel like there's a, celebra a celebration that's going to be occurring. For some of you guys, it could be that you find out you're pregnant uh, or that your partner's pregnant. For others of you, again, if you've been trying to get a home or trying to get a loan, it's going to be approved in the month of May. So there's, ce there's cause for celebration there. For others of you, it's just celebrating uh, some type of victory or some type of achievement. Um, and I feel that the achievement is not going to be something rather small. It's going to be like almost altering, life-changing, because the Four of Pentacles is right next to, uh, sorry, the Four of Wands is right next to Nine of Pentacles with the Sun and the Three of Cups. So celebratory type of energy, Six of Pentacles, those around you being very happy or excited for you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, like I said, just, you know, I know that right now you're probably experiencing like over emotions. Um, surrender to this process. Like I said, if you feel like, you know, someone just makes a very, you know, uh, snappy comment or something and may trigger you and you, 
you know, as strong as you beautiful Scorpios are, uh, you may feel like you're overly emotional. You may even overreact or start bawling, start crying. Um, again, like I said, if there's a feeling of purging, let it happen. Don't don't hold back. You know, just let it happen because this is going to help you purge yourself from any restrictions or any pent up emotions from your past. OK, all right, let's pull out a major arcana. Let's see what energy uh, Scorpio sun moon rising and venus needs to embrace in this month of may 2021 spirits what are the messages or what is the energy that scorpio needs to embrace for this month of may 2021 okay and we have high priestess powerful powerful uh card High Priestess is intuition. It is the all-knowing. It is the uh, keeping certain things hidden um, for a grander purpose or to be able to see the grander picture here. Um, again, I feel that your intuition is going to be very on point. And like I said initially, perfect representation of what Spirit is telling me that for the month of May, your message, your strong message here is follow your intuition. It will guide you to your bliss or your happiness. So again, uh, listening to your intuition strengthens your intuition. And the more stronger it becomes when making decisions, when making major decisions, you're going to know without a doubt. Um, and like I said, not doubting your intuition, it's not going to lead you astray. So very beautiful uh, prominent card right here. So I'm going to be pulling out another card <clears throat> from the Shadow Work Oracle. And this is the energy that you need to work through for the month of May 2021. So this could be our shadow side. This could be uh, something that we need to work on uh, that is going to be very crucial to the High Priestess, the crucial to listening to your intuition, uh, crucial to uh, trusting in the universe and surrendering and yeah I feel that you're I feel uh, it's it's almost like a glow up is what I'm hearing for some of you guys it's almost like a if you felt unnoticed which I know right that's rare for Scorpios <laughs> um by the way I love Scorpio energy like I love you guys so much anyways um if there was a feeling of like going unnoticed or people not acknowledging your hard work and determination, I feel that for this month, you're definitely going to be put on the spotlight. I feel like people are really going to either take more notice of you or see what you're doing or really appreciate. This could be your boss giving you props, telling you we're so proud of you or you make us so proud or um, you're doing a great job, that type of energy. All right, Spirit, what is the shadow message here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is it that they need to work through for this month of May 2021? All right, and we have vulnerable, ego, and triggered. So again, I feel that, you know, I didn't really need to put these pull these cards out only because I feel like the message that came through for you guys is very on point with what the cards are showing. Um, again, feeling a little bit vulnerable, feeling overly emotional. Uh, you may feel the need to, you know, hold back or the need to, uh, like I said, if there is a moment in time where you feel like someone says something and it triggers you and you feel like you get overly emotional and you want to cry, you hold it back. Don't, don't hold it back is what they're telling you. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay um, to acknowledge your emotions. Um, because the reason why we hold back or the reason why we try not to show people how we're feeling or if we're feeling like, you know, um, hurt or if we're feeling uh, like our pride has been hurt, uh, this is all ego based. And the high priestess is exactly uh, the opposite of pride. It speaks about, you know, shedding the, the ego to be able to fully see who you genuinely are, which is a soul and energy field. Um, eagle you know could try to hold you back or maybe the reason why you're triggered uh with certain people or how they express themselves it could be something within yourself within your shadow side um that you still have to work through so again it's okay to be vulnerable uh it's okay to 
allow your partner or people around you, your loved ones to see that you're you're a bit sensitive, it's okay because by you allowing them to see that 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 will show them that you need empathy right now, that you need compassion, that you need understanding so that they are not, you know, trying to uh, judge or whatnot. It, it, it's almost like a necessity for you to work through understanding that it is okay to be vulnerable, Scorpio, that you don't always have to be strong, um, that you're not always have to, you know, come off as indestructible or you don't need help even when you do, you say you don't. It, it, it's it's shedding the ego. It is coming to full term or to full understanding that we're human and that it's okay to need help sometimes, that it's okay to cry, to, like I said, purge yourself from all this pent up emotion or suppressed emotions that you've been holding back. So beautiful, beautiful reading for you guys. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings and um, you're going to do amazing, Scorpio. So stay positive and optimistic, okay? I'll see you guys soon. Bye.